Hi, my name's Donald. I'm a senior consultant with Full Proxy. I've set up a quick demo to show you how easy it is to start using Let's Encrypt services uh, on your F5 device. Uh, so essentially what I want to do is I've got a APM policy set up here and as you can see it shows as insecure because I'm using the built-in F5 certificates. So I'm wanting a valid internet certificate on that. So let's look at how we do that. Here's the the readme guide I've put together for this. So firstly we need to uh, get this Lex encrypt file on our F5. So let's just want to CP that up into the shared directory. is here. Let's drop that in there. And we need to unzip that. So let's go on to uh, F5 CLI. Right, we can now untar the file with this command. And next on here is drop into the Let's Encrypt directory. And there are not here to say if you want to use the staging environment, you need to change the URL in the following file, in this dehydrate file to the Acme staging API. Uh, but we're just going to run the production one here so we can skip past that. Uh, and what we do here is uh, change domain one.com and domain two to the domains I want to put in this uh, on this certificate. So I'll quickly run that command. And the next one here is we replace this 1.1.1.254 with the IP address of the virtual server that's used to validate that you own um, that domain space. So I'll just drop that in there. It's done. Now let's run the script, see what happens. Nothing at all. So we're creating an iRule here, we're creating a data group, we're creating a virtual server, we're creating an iCall uh, to check this search valid every month. Uh, we're then creating an SSL profile uh, to allow them to allow Let's Encrypt to attach that SSL certificate to. Uh, we're agreeing to the, the terms. Uh, set by Let's Encrypt. And now we're asking for the certificate and it looks like everything worked very well. So we can now go back to our F5 and check our 
SSL profiles. And we've created a new profile here called dclabs.fullproxy.com. And we should have a valid certificate signed today. Excellent. So let's just check that certificate against our virtual server it was created. I attach that certificate and take out the default on my APM virtual server. Give that a quick test and let's see. Ah, some sort of cache, I think. There we go. Excellent, valid certificate. You can look in at that certificate and it's signed by Let's Encrypt. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. If you'd like a copy of the script, uh, please drop an email uh, to Full Proxy at the, the link provided below. Thanks very much.